Yeah. Alright, we're good, man. What's going on? Okay, so you're a key figure in these proceedings. Tell us, state your name for the, for the camera. James Kobetsky, aka DJ Carvin. And let me just tell you, as a guest at this wedding, that was quite a set. You really, you really brought the whole house uh, on their feet. You really, yeah, it was really an impressive set. Thank you. So, uh, tell me, how long, yeah, how long have you known uh, the the bridegroom? I've known the groom since '94, '93. Ballpark working at Mickey D's and high school throughout, and then uh, so knew him for quite some time back then, and then uh, I left. New York for Kansas back in 97 and then uh, we've kept in touch, seen each other quite a few times, got to meet Chelsea probably about five years ago and uh, yeah, get, then again once again when they uh, drove through, out, they drove through Kansas when they were on their way out to Albuquerque. So. I'm your neighbor, I live in Colorado. Oh fair enough. Excellent. So I gotta tell you, I've, I've been to a number of weddings, this was excellent, the DJ set was amazing, you really you. did a great job of pacing it, I really like the, uh, the mixes that you did. Thank you, thank you. So can you tell me... Um, as far as your preparation for this, did your knowledge of Nick and or Chelsea, uh, how did that come into play as far as you deciding which songs to play uh, and, uh, and your music selection for the evening? Well, no and Nick, me and Nick go way back with music. I remember us going to Horky concerts and every other kind of concert for that matter. We used to go all the time. So I know Nick's music taste and I know traditional wedding and I'm like, okay, got to figure out and walk the line somewhere in the middle. So, um, you know, I had a few songs that were must plays that we got to, had to get in and a lot of those. And But uh, other than that, it was just, all right, play a little bit of everything and then get a little left field and just enough balance and try and just keep the energy up and keep it funky and fun. So you, how many weddings did you say you do in the course of a year? Uh, not as much as I used to. I used to do a lot more now I mostly do club DJing so I normally now at one point I was doing about 20 a year now I do maybe five to ten a year if that and in your approach to this wedding I'm assuming was heavily influenced by the fact that you knew the group was absolutely absolutely I take a lot more personal pride I always take pride in it but no uh, you got to do right for your best friend man I mean he's buddy for life and uh, no matter distance time changes that so I took a lot of pride in the compliments that I've been getting makes uh, warms my heart to know I did good by both of them you did great you know I, I'll tell you, as a guest, you really kept the party jumping. I especially love the ministry <laughs> that you played. I just, yes, that, that you know. obviously heavy Nick influence right there. Nick, Nick requirement. <laughs> Excellent job. You know what? When people reflect on their experiences of, of this wedding, the soundtrack you provided is going to have a lot to do with that. That's so awesome. You did an amazing job. Dude. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you for allowing me to interview you. I appreciate that. Nick, Chelsea, love you guys. Congratulations. Thank you.